Hi friends, in this video let's talk about new function at time zone. This is one of the important and useful function to the SQL developers. So what ideally it is going to do? It will help us to convert an input date to the corresponding time zone date and time. See if you understand very clearly in the world we have multiple time zones. Each and every country is having their separate time zone and within a country we have multiple time zones. If you want to identify the time in a particular zone, you do not need to go anywhere. Simply open SQL Server and you can simply see it. And you want to display or like let us say the application server is in a particular country, but the users are across the world. So that time you want to display their particular time. So you can use this. So earlier we used to do some calculations based on the geography we used to do some calculations but with the help of this so you do not need to do any calculations it will help us to give the direct value based on the time zone let me show you how to use yet time zone function in the sql server 2016 if you come to the syntax prospective let me write the syntax is input date input date yet time zone all are separate words you can put it as a alias name as something uh, uh, time and date or something whatever it is date and time something like that in a particular zone so here this input date can be a column name in a table now let me tell you how to use a time zone first of all let me write a simple query select get date i want to see what is the current date and time in the sql server see you know that so based on the setting in the systems see because i am running a query on my machine it shows the date and time based on my system based on my laptop see here whatever the setting i have done it shows you that okay now let me run this i have a time of 2000 date is 2019 march 30th 223 19600 okay so it is the time as per the particular as per my uh, laptop now so I want to see the same time in the uh, in a particular zone. Okay, so let me write select get date yet time zone at what time zone you want that you need to specify in the single quotes. So I want to specify in a India India standard time see india stand and india time will represent in a full form of india standard time or ist in short form so okay let's run this let's run this you can see now the india date and time is so 2019 3rd march 224 plus 530 it is 530 hours head of gmt now you want to see some uh, central uh, uh, us or something like that then let's write select get date of yet time zone us central standard time okay so let me uh, keep a correct name here each and every standard each and every zone having a specific standards okay so based on that particular uh, standard you need to give okay so let me make it as a central european standard uh, 
European Standard Time. So if you want to see, let's run this. Okay, let me change the spelling here. Yeah, you can see this is the time plus one o'clock. So they are head of one hour plus GMT. See, these are all the time zones used to define in the registry keys of a particular machine. So you can go and open a registry keys and check is the time zones are defined in a particular server or not. If you want to identify in a somewhere uh, like uh, in British, so British standard time, you can say we, you can write as a British standard time. Let me write down that as well. British Standard Time BST. So let me see what was the indication for the British. Otherwise, you can say is a some uh, Pacific Pacific Standard Time. It is a PST. It is a US one. See, they are uh, lagging seven hours from the GMT. So this is a Pacific standard time. So if you want to go with some other timings, you, you can put the uh, time zones in the similar way. So what is the British standard time? Let me check this British standard. So let me make it, let me write a query for the British as well. Let me write down. Okay, so let me make it as a different green witch time or something like that. I'll make it as summer. See, still. So let me see what is the British uh, So I think might be some green witch or something like that. Let me put that green witch in which mean time otherwise. Green witch mean time. So like this. So this is how you need to put a time zone everywhere. So you, if you want to get the green which mean time, you can put it as a at time as a green which. So mean time. So based on the time zone, based on the time zone, you will get a um, date and time. See if you see the difference between these two, three. Here I got uh, we are a head of like let us say here IST is a head of uh, 530 5 hours and 30 minutes of the green witch here it is a uh, second one is central European standard time is a head of one hour and uh, Pacific standard time is um, a lag of uh, seven hours starting from uh, green witch time. So now here you can see the time date and time based on the at time zone it is a one of the important function useful function for the SQL server developers so this is how you want now if you want to identify some Australia one you need to put a time zone as a so Australia standard time so central Australia something like that Australia is having different uh, time zones so here like a US is having like four time zones in the same way Australia is also different different time zones we have so that's how we use a yet time zone in the SQL server so that's it
thank you for watching if you have any questions please put your question on the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible thank you